This is what we call a long road. It's a well-accessed road that's several miles long. Uh, there's no side ditches, so the water is running down the road. At low spots, there's wallows. The ruts here are uh, four to six inches deep. Most of the road is not graveled. You have areas that are wallows uh, at the base of hills or sometimes even on the flats uh, areas. There'll be wallows. There's no side drainage. There, there's no uh, side ditches or anything. It's real wide here because people have tried to find where to, to go through without uh, getting caught on the high parts with either their ATV or their truck. The pipeline goes to the right, and that used to be a decent road, but there's been so many people out here uh, going through the wallows that the wallows are big enough to swallow an ATV. There's the actual well road goes up ahead. It's very steep. It's, it's over 20% grade. Um, no side ditches. The water runs down the road, so you have uh, deep ruts. It's pretty how the sky reflects in the water. But this is no fun to drive through. Every time we've been here, this pad has been bare. A lot of people come out here and dump trash over the hillside. And then ATVs use the cut slope for the uh, ramps for running their ATVs. A lot of dirt bikes come out here too. There's the wellhead in front of me with a tall uh, separator. It's set on a, a cement block. There's the metering shed straight back. The condensate storage tank with its secondary containment. See the three casing heads. The large casing head at the bottom where the vent comes out. The vent is that pipe, lower pipe on the right that goes up and is green. Then there's a intermediate casing head has some remnants of red paint, and then there's a production casing head. And that's where the, the gas flows out of. Oh, I just see there's another API number. There's three API numbers on the well head. That's a pipe that continually vents. It's down at the surface casing. I don't know if you can see the material venting. It vents continuously. It kind of has a paint thinner, uh, paint stripper smell. I don't like to stay too long at this site. It has a plastic condensate storage tank. The trap door is locked. The vent is gone. There used to be a black vent on top. There's soft drink and, and beer can in the uh, secondary containment. Secondary containment seems to be adequate I'm not sure that there is a uh, freshwater drain. This is part of the well access road for 1314. The spur is off of a much longer well access road. That well access road 
is in the distance and then it turns to the viewer's left. The spur comes straight up. There's a ditch that isn't really visible uh, unless you know it's there where the water is, is draining. It's almost like it's a water bar but I don't think it's deliberate. The uh, side ditches are, are uh, filled in. It's a wonderful view. And you could see somebody a hundred years from now thinking this will be a great home site. This is well 1314 in Putnam County. There's an incorrect API number. We visited 2008 and 2010. There was no API number. The separator is behind to the left. The condensate storage tank is directly behind. I'm pretty much facing north. The API number says this is 1283 in Putnam County. The secondary containment for the plastic condensate storage tank seems to be adequate. We haven't measured it. There's standing water in it. Uh, there's a lock on the trap door, but it's not locked. The last time, two times we've been out here, there's been water standing below the separator. The operators dug a ditch to the edge of the well pad. There's also standing water in the secondary containment for the condensate storage tank. And there's always been a pond close to the entrance of the pad. There are trees at the base of the pad, the fill slope. Uh, there's a dead tree to the left, and then there's some trees that, that seem to show discoloration of the foliage. I'm not sure what's causing that. There's another dead tree. And another dead tree. This is down to the base of the fill slope. There's actually two fill slopes. There's a long one and there's a short one. There's a dead tree. And there's a little flat and then the rest of the fill slope climbs up to the pad. The pit liner is embedded in the surface and appears in patches along an 87 foot line. And then there's more pit liner behind me on the hillside, smaller pieces, some embedded, some not. Here's another large piece of pit liner and the orange pit fencing. Fragments of that. There's two large pieces here. small piece. When we were out here in 2010, there was a puddle around in here, and we took a sample of the water, and there was uh, elevated chloride. I'm taking a soil sample. It's grayish soil that might be pit uh, waste. I haven't been able to see outcroppings of pit liner beyond this line and then the fragments uh, to the south. The orange pit fencing, we've seen at one well site it discarded at the edge of the pad. 
other sites we see fragments of it generally associated but not always associated with pieces of pit liner. The vegetation is sparse. It's not very good coverage. It's hard to say if that's due to ATV traffic or because of contamination. There's a fair amount of party activity out here with all the wells and the roads. Another crushed can. I don't know if this is a pipeline or uh, an ATV trail, but there's a loose piece of pit liner. And there's a piece that it's, well, it's pulled out now. There's some more. And another loose piece. What we believe is happening at some of these sites is that the operators buried the pit waste shallowly and then uh, during reclamation they run a bulldozer through part of the pit waste. That might be the explanation of those pieces of pit liner away from the line of pit liner. There's a new erosion and sediment control field manual that was just released in May 2012 requires that the pit waste have three feet of cover. The problem of the operators running through the pit waste while doing reclamation wouldn't happen again. I took a water test for chloride in the big puddle here and it was uh, just a trace. In 2010, when we tested near the separator, it just showed a trace too.